load it back in, right? Finding where I want the needle right to be. So will you drop the platen down further? Thank you. Turn it on. As part of the Martin Luther King Jr. Day of Service activities, volunteers helped make scarves, blankets, hats, and other clothing items for donation at St. John's Parish. Today we have the St. John's Middle School Youth Group working on three different service projects. The first, which is happening in this room, is to make um, blankets for babies. Every baby that gets baptized here at St. John's receives a blanket um, for the, after their baptism, so that's what these will go to. Then in another room, we have children knitting uh, little hats for infants, and we're going to be giving them to a group in Framingham called Birthright, and they help um, women, particularly unwed mothers, who do decide to have their baby and keep it, get um, the proper education they need, proper all the supplies for a baby, so all those babies will, that's where we'll donate these hats. And then the third activity that we have going on right now are to create scarves, and those scarves next weekend, our high school um, youth group, will be going into Boston to distribute blessing bags to different homeless people. So the scarves will go in that bags, along with other things we've collected, socks, mittens, toothpaste, toothbrush, and things like that. So those are the three projects we have here today. A wide array of activities took place during the Martin Luther King Jr. Day at Hopkinton Middle School. In addition to a few presentations, Volunteer community members, scouts, and students helped give back to those in need. These kids are decorating bags and filling them with gifts and then making a card for people who have cancer. And um, what are some of the things that they have put in the bags? Um, so the bags have fuzzy socks and activity books and like lotion and chapstick and soap and things like that. making dog toys for Bay Path. Oh, very nice. Here in Hopkinton. And um, did you get a lot of dog to toys made today? Yes, we did. Very good. Is there a lot of people that have come over and helped participate? Yes, there have been, yeah. Excellent. You having a good time? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. What are your names? Karen. Sophie. Karen and Sophie. Bella. Bella. And Vishnu. All right. Are you all in the scouts or are you all volunteering? I'm in I'm in a cadet. Okay, very good. I think she's in cadets. I don't know. So what, what are you doing here today to help We're selling, we're selling, we're selling pizza. We sell, we're selling pizza for free. Um, it's for free. We're not selling it. We're just we're, giving yeah, it we're away. Just giving yeah. it out. We're giving pizza away. Oh, very well, nice. Are we gonna be on the views or something? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, it's just are you people. helping out too? Are you volunteering? No, I'm the manager. You're what? He's the manager. I'm the manager. Oh, you're the manager. I got here first. Oh, you're the big boss, huh? Yeah, yeah. I got here first. All right. CEO well. and big boss. Well, nice job. I'm sure everyone's going to enjoy the pizza that you've given out today. Thank you. I want to take some time to thank my partners on the Youth Commission. My name is Tamoria Saba. I'm the chair. And this is my wonderful team. And we've spent a lot of time trying to put together an amazing day for you all. And we hope you have a lot of fun. We'd like to thank you for making it a day on and not off. Today, we volunteer our time here and in other places in Hopkinton where we can make a difference in the lives of people who need it the most. By joining us today, we hope you realize that volunteering is important, but it also can be fun. It doesn't have to feel like a chore. And any contribution you make is wonderful. It's gratifying, and it brings us all closer together. We have a special guest for all of you this morning, an incredible storyteller of African and African-American culture. Her name is Valerie Tutson. When I was seven and a half, we didn't have a national holiday honoring Dr. King. So my community, my little community, which by the way was kind of like Hopkinton, we did not have a lot of black people in the town where I was growing up. 
We had five black families. That's it. But even though there was no national holiday, my little community, the few black folks that lived there, and many of the white folks who had experienced the powerful work of the civil rights movement would gather in my home church, the First Congregational Church of New Milford, and they would hold a celebration honoring Dr. King. Former Buddhist monk Seth Monk presented a workshop called Seeds of Peace. Somebody comes to you and maybe they're really excited. Maybe some of you have had that experience. Somebody comes and they're really excited and they're talking really fast. And, oh my God, everything's wrong. And, oh. Yeah. And if you react to them in that world, it's going to just keep going and get faster and faster and faster. But if you react to them with, and then you listen to them, you create kind of this space. It also allows the other people to start to settle down. I told you, uh, we're volunteers with the Hopkins Youth Commission helping out the Red Cross today, checking people in. And it's very simple. Uh, you could actually go to the Red Cross website and uh, register online. But if you come in here, there's just a short form to fill out and uh, wait your turn, probably 15 minute wait. And then it's a 15 minute process to you know draw your blood and they ask you some questions about any you know diseases or foreign countries you've traveled to recently to make sure that you're a good candidate. Welcome to the Shaking Blood Drive. <laughs> and now I'd like to welcome our guest speaker, Tazwar Ferdus. My realization of this and my newfound inspiration to continue Diversity Club was because of certain issues that affected me personally, as well as issues I heard in, here in the high school. These issues all revolved around discrimination. I didn't start Diversity Club with the intention of attacking a problem. The club was an outlet for me to improve my community through something I was passionate about. But due to the unfortunate circumstances that have afflicted our minorities in this community, I realized how important it was to continue Diversity Club and its activism for equality and acceptance. To close out the MLK Day of Service, Hopkinton Youth Strings Orchestra and Boston's Jewish Community Choir perform. <laughs> together in the single garment of destiny, caught in an inescapable network of mutuality. And whatever affects one directly affects all directly. This is my first year as chair of the Youth Commission, and um, I was just really excited uh, at how the community responded to the event. We added a lot of new elements this year that have never been done before, including having an African-American storyteller, a choir, and actually giving a student the opportunity to be our guest speaker. So it was really exciting to involve so many different facets of people in the day, and I think the community responded well to it. 